I know we did decide this is it, this is for us after the information night, I think. I definitely wanted to do it for a long time, but it wasn't until we basically drove all the way home in silence. And we got home and I said to Adam, so what did you think? And he said, oh, we can't not do it. We can't not do this, you know? Like, did you hear them? We have all these rooms in our house and yeah. we have room in our heart and we have to, we have to help these kids. Well, they're only two and a half years old and eight months old. So initially, our uh, first little girl was only eight months when she came into our care. So I gave up work just to um, spend that time, just one-on-one -on -one to build that bond with her. She needed that. And I did all the um, transport to all her appointments and things. So that was really valuable. And Adam? Self-employed, so it's fairly flexible with things like that, appointments and yeah. Like they've always been there. Yeah. <laughs> Still hungry. Yeah, like any parents, Everything. I guess. Yeah. Everything, yeah. Like, but we wouldn't change that at all. No. So you probably work less now than probably ever before, and there's times when you don't want to go to work, so you don't want to yes. miss out. And, you know, I guess things like holidays, and, you know, you don't go on these extravagant holidays like you used to. Um, we got rid of our nice, luxurious car. So we get a family car, you know, things like that. So, but just all the normal stuff, normal. really. The yeah. Any, any parent would give up, yeah. Yeah. Like, without Well, with short term, we probably feel there's more challenges with short term than long term. Short term, I guess, because access has been more frequent, it's been weekly and um, it's been going through court and, and things like that. So there's a lot of challenges surrounding that. Whereas with long term, we didn't have that so much. It all happened really quickly. We were really lucky there. I think that people think, oh, these kids are gonna be have challenging behaviors and they're just gonna be this and that. And then they meet our kids. I go, oh, they're foster kids. You know, yeah. like we would never pick that. Oh, they look like you. And you know, we get that all the time. Yeah. Oh, they look like you and they act just like you. Yeah, because we've raised them, so of course. There's a very old There's school, one thing. old school sort of mind frame in fostering. I think mm. that all the bad kids yeah. go into foster care. Yeah, and it's not the case. You know, these kids didn't choose to have that life. So you just got to give them whatever you can, the best you can, in the time you've got, whether that's short or long. The family. Some of them were. They didn't come around straight away. They were sort of, I think, a bit reserved or just mm. held back a bit. But then as soon as they meet the children, it's just all over. <laughs> I think they're worried for us, like yeah. worried we're going to get attached and we're going to get hurt. And then they all get attached and they're prepared to be hurt because, you know, if these kids leave our care, there is going to be some kind of grieving and there is going to be pain associated with that. But it's absolutely worth it. And it's challenging, but we expected it to be challenging. You know, they've got another family, like a biological family, and we honour that. So, you know, it's, it's really hard because you've got something so huge in common, but you're both so different, you're from different worlds. So there's always going to be challenges that we face with that. It's just it's so totally worth it. I don't know, just every day. I think, yeah, the milestones are a big thing. Yeah. It keeps you motivated when you see something that they learn and yeah, you know, we taught them that and, you know, it just keeps you going. Keep wanting. You won't regret it. It's the best. Best thing ever. These kids are the best. It's given us a chance to have a family, like, which we never thought we would have, and it's given them a chance to have that. And it's also, particularly with our short term case, it's given her biological family the time to get better, you know, to um, become healthy and be able to become parents again quite possibly, you know, um, and obviously there's a pain going to be attached to that when if she was to leave our care, but then you've helped both of them. And that is a remarkable thing to be able to do. I think I feel very privileged. Yeah.